In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I can edit a system motion captured from a motion capture system. First, I'll import the motion file. For this particular motion file, I have lamped joints such that I can do the characterization easily. But for your motion file, you might wish to refer to my previous tutorial on how exactly you should map the joint one by one. So now I will do the characterization. It's a BiPAP character. For my motion file, the joints are mapped automatically. But this is simply because I've prepare it so. Then I insert 11 into the scenes. Again, if you wish to know more about how exactly you can insert a um, folder, your favorite folder in the asset browser, you should refer to my previous tutorials. Now we have 11. As usual, we reset all properties. Now we drive 11 with the character. Now 11 is doing some bossing. The yellow skeleton is a bit distracting, so we disable the rendering of the yellow skeleton. So we select character which is now linked with the skeleton. So hide skeleton. OK, now we can focus on 11. We go back to 11. Right now, the movement of 11 come from the motion file. We wish to detach the movement from the motion file. So we do the plot character. In the last tutorial, we plot the character into the skeleton because we don't need to edit the motion anymore. This time, we plot it to the control rate. Make sure frame rate is correctly set based on the frame rate of your motion file. Once you plot the movement into the control rig, you will be able to see the um, FK and IK controller on top of 11. If you don't see so, it might be because you haven't en enabled the X-ray rendering. So go to display, select X-ray. Good. Now we can see the movement. This cake doesn't seem to be too nice. I wish to edit it. Let me focus on this frame. We go to the dupe sheet. Right now, all the movement comes from the base animation layer in the animation layers window. It means that all the movements right now is in this layer. I will use a lot this layer such that I don't mess up with the original motion. On top of the base animation layer, we will have anim layer one. This is where we wish to edit the animation. Whatever you edit will be added on top of the base animation layer. Obviously, you can rename it. I just call it add on to animation. I go to the frame before the kick. Select the right foot, right kick, keyframe. 
I go to the frame after the kick. White kick, here Tom. These two key frame ensure that whatever I do in between will not affect anything before and after the key frame. Now I can edit the kick. I will use the IK system to drag the position of the feet. This is what I want. I'll add a keyframe here. Y kick, key at time. Key. Now you can see that the kick is a lot higher because I have added. If we wish to see the original movement, we can disable the add-on animation layer by clicking this mute button. This is the original kick. We enable it again. This is the edit kick. A lot better. Another thing I would like to add is, is about the facing direction of the character from the beginning of the animation. As you can see, from the beginning, the character actually faces us. If I wish to edit it, most people will just select the root and try to rotate the root. And you will notice that it doesn't work that way. This is because the wood controller is actually not the parent's joy for everything. If you go back to the navigator, expand the scenes, you will notice that um, the hip joints is actually a child joy of the control reference. Therefore, if you wish to rotate the full body, you should select control reference here. Now you see that when I rotate the character, it will take everything, all the joints. You can also translate it. Then later on, when you display the animation, the whole movement will be rotate and translate.